Scientists in Mexico pulling back the curtain on what they believe are aliens and put two of those corpses on display. Uh, take a look. Uh, these small mummified specimens were unveiled at Mexico's first ever UFO hearing yesterday. Yeah, it looks like E.T. You're right. Uh, the alleged alien corpses were found in Peru. They're believed to be 700 to 1800 years old. They only had three fingers and elongated heads. X-rays of the aliens were also shown, and experts say one of the bodies has eggs inside of it. Hmm. Maybe we could have alien babies. A lot going on in Peru. Yeah. That's right. So <laughs> is this real? Do people believe uh, I, this? I don't know. As Leslie but Lopez says, we want DNA samples. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then we're eventually going to find out that aliens look nothing like yeah. we think they look. No. It looks nothing like E.T. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a stone carving. It really does. It does. What is that? Yeah. I don't know. All right, Shalom. This is Har One by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Ka Halayim La Yahawa by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Ha Raka Kodash Ma Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. And shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. All right. And the focus there is believing in sincerity and in truth. You see that? Because everything outside of the truth is nothing but lies. And what they're pushing with this agenda is more lies. All right. And um, what I want to focus on when I bring up the scriptures is the one who established and created those lies. And then now you got Mexico, which is really the tribe of Issachar. I don't know if this guy's a true Issachar right or Edomite. You never know. But um, if he's an Issachar right, he's following after the ways of the devil, the deception. And uh, I'm going to prove it, right? That this guy is a known and proven liar. This guy right here, named Moss Mossan or something like that, Mousen. So they unveiled today these little um, figures, look like statues, uh, like some ancient idol. <laughs> I mean, these, these people done brought out a damn idol from Peru and displayed it, talking about it got eggs in it and it's uh, got different DNA, saying they did x-rays on it. <clears throat> so I want to I wanna get into some articles um, that will elaborate on this, this deception that's going on, all right? So you got the you got you got the media going crazy about it, which is also a distraction. All right. So you remember Ronald Reagan's famous um, statement that he made back in the '80s, where he said, "If we had, if we only had some outside threat that would bring all our nations together, you know." So we're living in that agenda right now. So let's get into the article. Um, and I may use this as a backdrop, but yeah, man, it, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. It says, who is J Jamie Mawson? That's who this guy is. I used to watch him in the past, um, maybe about five years ago, seven years ago. Uh, he would bring out, uh, videos of chariots. Um, but after a while, the, the videos are cool, but hearing him talk, you can, you can feel and sense that mysticism that he was dealing with or some delusional, uh, mindset, you know, focusing on the green aliens and that he talked to them and they talked to him, you know, you, you know, you, you've been around these type of people before. All right or these, um, what they call them, Planet X type of people, Nibiru. All right. 
so it says, who is Jamie Mawson? As if I'm saying his name right, but Mawson is an investigative journalist who has been researching extraterrestrial phenomena for decades. But if Mawson, Mawson's latest claims prove to be false, it wouldn't be the first time. The UFO researcher who appears regularly in the Mexican media, right? So that's his job, keeping his, his name in the media. As an investigative journalist. All right, so this right here is going to make him famous. The UFO researcher who appears regularly in Mexican media, right? And he claimed to have taken... Uh, an alleged alien specimen from the Peru borders. That wouldn't happen. They, he, he wouldn't have made it past border control. You know? The UFO researcher who appears regularly in Mexican media to present his purported findings has previously been associated with, with claims of discoveries that have later been debunked. So he's a known liar, this guy. All right. And it wasn't the agency that, that does the actual DNA testing and x-rays or whatever. They're not the ones that came out on the media today. This was a this was a con congressional meeting. And he brought this out saying, hey, I want to bring out some more proof. And they displayed it all over the world like Mexico was bringing it out. No, it's not the Mexico government. It's this guy. It's not Peru. It's this guy. It's not um, the N A or N U A M or whatever, which is like a, a, a agency that a science agency agency that does the DNA testing and such. They're even saying that this is a lie. I'm prove it. It says in 2015, Marsan unveiled the existence of what was alleged to be an alien body. All right, he never showed it. He just uh, showed, the, I guess, the x-rays and the DNA alleged proof. But um, <clears throat> they're saying, he, even though it's from 2015 and it was rejected as lies, these may, the ones he's displaying today might be those same alleged bodies from 2015. All right, so in 2015, Marsan unveiled the existence of what was alleged to be an alien body unearthed in Nazca, Peru. See? Same ones. Later, though, that alien discovery was debunked and the mummified corpse was shown to be that of a human child with a head deformity. According to fact-checking website Snopes Dot com. In fact, such elongated skulls have been have often been explained by anthropologists as the result of an ancient practice of artificial cranial deformation. As a part of what could be an ancient religious ritual. So going back to idolatry or one of these damn little demonic ass little children that had their fucking head shaped all weird when it was a baby or something by a religious ritual practice of head shaping artificial head shaping or, you know like the, like the hamites they be putting that bone in their lip over time or in their ear this right here was fucking head shaping <laughs> had your cranial stressed out for a religious ritual it says, young children had their heads bound in cloth, rope, and even wooden boards, according to Snopes.com, just to, just to uh, artificially mutate and sh the, the structure of the person's, the child's uh, head. So that could be a damn dead human that everybody's looking at thinking it's a, a damn alien, thinking it's E.T. and shit. All right. So who, my thing is, we all know who put that lie out there since the 1930s, 
since the Great Depression, since 1940s, you know, or um, World War One going into World War Two, where they started seeing something in the in the sky, anomalies that they call Foo Fighters. I've done many lessons on it, Foo Fighters, which were really the chariots of Yahweh. Today they call them UFOs. Now they've changed the legal term to UAPs. All right, unidentified anomalous phenomena, or um, also they call it unidentified aerial phenomena. <clears throat> so um, we know who created that lie. They even go back far further to the, uh, what you would call the Druids who dealt with demons that they would draw a picture of that looked like that with little green heads. Then you got Aleister Crowley with his I idol worship and demonic ass dreams that he had. And he painted a picture of a, a idol or a demon that he said visited him and had big eyes and a big ass head and possibly green skin. And he gave it a name. And, he, and so people have been pushing that around. So that goes back to demons and shit that they're into. And, and Esau's nightmares and shit. And they and, and you got idiots like this guy here, my son, pushing that lie even further. All right? So even though he's not an Edomite, he's pushing the lie of, of Esau that was started by them, going all the way back to the Greeks, going all the way back to the time they claimed to have found found this or dated this to go back to saying 1800 years ago that's like uh, 200 AD alright going into the fall of the Roman Empire the, be the beginning of it when Jake was ruling the, on, to the time of uh, uh, Nerva and um, Septimius Severus you know so they were heavy. those people and the people in the world were heavy in the idol worship during that time and these weird ritual practices it says the apparent desiccated bodies date back to 2017 and were found deep underground so they saying um not that it dates back to 2017 but the finding dates back to 2017 or 2015. At this point, I don't even know. I think it's a, it's a the apparent desiccated bodies date back to 2017. So they could be saying it was a lie, and that the bodies only go back to 2017. But this guy claimed to have found um, such alleged, alleged bodies going back to 2015. So. Anyway, the apparent desiccated bodies date back to 2017 and were found deep underground in the sandy Peruvian coastal desert of Nazca. The area is known for gigantic enigmatic figures scraped into the earth and seen only from a bird's eye view. Most attributed, most attribute the Nazca lines most like it, most attribute the, the Nazca lines to ancient indigenous communities see ancient indigenous communities that was that was into all kind of wicked rituals and shit but the formations have captured the imaginations of many imagination man see the damn delusional in 2017, Ma San made similar claims in Peru. See that this guy in 2017 he made similar claims in Peru. And a report by the country's prosecutor's office. Whoa. Right? The country's prosecutor's office found that the bodies were actually recently manufactured dolls. Damn, they don't date back to nothing. Just manufactured dolls or little babies that had their fucking heads manipulated. But in this case, they could have been manufactured dolls that made it look all dusty and look old, which have been covered with a mixture of paper 
and synthetic glue to simulate the presence of skin. So he, look, I'm gonna read that again. In 2017, Malsan made similar claims in Peru and a report by the country's prosecutor's office, so they prosecuted this guy, found that the bodies were allegedly, well, it's like, were actually, actual is factual, so they were actually recently manufactured dolls which have been this which have been covered with a mixture of paper and synthetic glue to simulate the presence of skin damn school science project and shit and they got it on displays oh, look at the little you see the alien you see it people people psychos man they reported the report added that the figures were almost certainly human made. The report added that the figures were almost certainly human made and that they are not the remains of ancestral aliens that they have tried to present. The bodies were, were not publicly unveiled at the time. So it's unclear if they are the same as those presented to Mexico's Congress basically today. So they could be the same damn ones. The same paper machete aliens and shit. Paper mache, whatever they call it. Manufactured dolls. Mixture of paper and synthetic glue to make it look like skin and shit. They could be the same ones he's he's displaying today. His, his face looked like a damn liar. Look at his look at his face. He just look like he be lying. He look like he be lying and shit, don't he? he got that. He got, he's like a fucking liar and shit. <laughs> All right. So it says the report added that the figures were almost certainly human made, and that they are not the remains of ancestral aliens that they have tried to present. The bodies were not publicly unveiled um, at the time, so it is unclear if they are the same as those presented to Mexico's Congress. On Wednesday, Julieta Fierro, researcher at the Institute of Astronomy and at the National Autonomous University of Mexico. That's, that's Nahum. Nahum. It says, um, that's the acronym they use. National Autonomous University of Mexico was among those to express to express skepticism. So she was she was skeptic about this dude, man. Julieta Fierro, she ain't like and she's a she's a researcher at the institute that does the actual um carbon dating and stuff such. Uh, saying that many details about the figures made no sense. It don't make no damn sense, man. But it do make dollars. That's what they own right now. Attention and fame and dollars. And agenda. Fierro added that the researchers claims that her university endorsed their supposed discovery. It was false. So he's a liar, man. He came out and said that this company, um, the university, endorsed his supposed discovery claims, and it turned out to be false. He's a liar. And noted that the scientists would need more advanced technology than just x rays they claim to use to determine in the alleged calcif calcified bodies if the calcif salaki. All right, um, and and she also noted that the scientists would need more advanced technology than the X-rays they claim to use to determine if the allegedly calcified bodies were non-human. All right, I hate the way these damn people talk, but you get the point. So they would have to do they would have to have more testing than instead of just X-rays. And he coming out pushing out on the world at the same time America is pushing that agenda saying that they got bodies and they hiding it, the, all these videos. They got video, but they ain't got no damn bodies. 
that's what they said. They were saying that they got bodies um, from a crash UFO or such. All right, this is just something funny. It's a post from Twitter. Uh, it says, uh, I guess his name is Re Revolutionary Blackout Network. Social media MMA. Uh, it says, anyone else disappointed that the aliens revealed in New Mexico, in Mexico's, anyone else disappointed the aliens revealed in Mexico looks exactly like Hollywood predicted aliens would look like? Not suspicious at all. See what I'm saying? So it's Hollywood. It's Hollywood. Hollywood goes back to witchcraft. Same stick that they use in Harry Potter. And he'd be waving his wand around. That's called Hollywood. So they use Hollywood to deceive people and push their lies and deception. And this guy is pushing that lie even further. So he's of his authority, the devil, the deceiver. All right. So this is a quote from that same scientist named Julieta Fierra from the new the Neum um, Astronomy Institute in um, in Mexico, I think it is. Yeah, Mexico. It says the new the Neum did not immediately immediately respond to a request for comment, but I guess when when they finally did comment, this is what they said. Of course, it was all made up. So all this is made up, man. It's a goddamn lie. That they putting all this investment and money and resources into and attention. Of course it was all made up, said Julieta Fierro, a scientist at the Institute of Astronomy at Neum. Professor Fierro also pointed out that carbon-14 dating, which was used to determine the age of the specimens, would not be useful if the creatures were from another planet. <laughs> uh, their chemistry would be different and another method required to analyze their true age. All right, so another method would be required. They got all these choppy words, but... All right, let's start off with this precept here, man, real quick, dealing with these idols and statues and dolls and shit they're making. Uh, Isaiah 41 and 29, behold, they are all vanity. It's just a waste of damn time. It's vanity. Their works are nothing. And their their you know and their molten images are wind and confusion. So all his works that he's doing, this guy at Mount Sinai or whatever, are for naught. It's nothing. And nothing but wind and more confusion in this damn place. You see that? Right, Isaiah 30 and 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. And today the modern day Pharaoh is Esau. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. So everybody that trusts in Hollywood, you know, and, um, which has also spread to Mexico and around the world, this idea of green aliens. Yeah, they're seeing chariots. They're seeing UFOs or chariots. That's true. But they're not seeing no little green aliens and shit. That's made up. All right? And it really started getting pushed here in America. You know, all over Hollywood, which also ultimately Mexico going to pick up on that. And then these side communities in the jungles they were thinking little aliens chasing them and shit and the CIA used to play off of that allegedly to move people out of certain areas like recently I think it was in Peru I think that was Peru where they said it was um they saw some shiny tall men and uh, then they disappeared or whatever Come to find out, it was the damn CIA, allegedly. <laughs> they had the issue before with them. Um, the, the local uh, government was trying to run a uh, contractor, Salaki, not CIA. It was um, contractors, all right, Salaki. But they found out it was contractors that were using military CIA technology 
to move them out of there. All right. So, right, because you see that woman in the news clip in the beginning, she said, yo, this can't be serious. He said, she said, what? Someday everybody going to find out that aliens look nothing like what people are saying. And that's true because we are aliens. You know, even Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is an alien to these people, you know? The alien just goes back to um, strange, stranger. Let me get that real quick. Alien etymology. It says um, from from. It says belonging to another or other, you know, just basically from outer space or another dimension or another place. You know, you become alien. All right. Um, the word alien goes back to strange, foreigner. Um, yeah, alien, stranger, foreigner, belonging to another. So they came up with this whole ET extraterrestrial shit back in the 1930s and 40s. And that movie ET Phone Home, that really got in people's head then. It was that Steven Spielberg. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, man. When they really see what's going on. And you got some movie directors, they got close to how it would be. With like Battle Los Angeles. You know, but when they showed the actual um beings inside the chariots, they always have them look like monsters and and, and uh skinny stick men and green aliens and shit. When the angels look just like us, but they're not human. Scriptures say he made his angels spirits. So there's spirits out there in the heavens. And all the heavenly hosts is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. On the left hand, on the right hand. You got demons on the left. You got angels, righteous angels on the right. That's it. And, you know, and the only human being that's a God that's out there is Yahweh Shai in the flesh. You know, Yahweh is a spirit. The angels are spirits. There's no other beings out there. All the beings are right here where we started at on earth. Other than that, we die and go to the spirit world. So the only flesh that's out there in the heavens is Yahweh All right. Um, and he, he created the heavens for us to inhabit. Now, could it be animals and things on other planets? You know, I mean, no. Um, could it be trees and plants blossoming and blooming and rotting away and growing back? That whole process going upon upon these planets? Yeah, that could be happening. But there ain't no green aliens tra traveling the damn universe looking for a, a human signal to, to communicate with and all this madness. Stealing the resources and water from the earth. It's madness, man. <clears throat> All right, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, man. It's going to be terrifying to these people. They ain't going to be like, you know, take me to your leader and shit. ET phone home. I'm trying to reach home. You got a telephone? I get you right And shall be amazed at the strangeness. The, the, you know, it's like alien to them. It's going to be foreign to these people. Yeah, it's going to be alien to these people. Strangeness, right? Um, Of his salvation. See, that's what it's going to be, salvation. When the chariots show up and your house shot parts that sky, everybody's going to know why. And made no account of his labors. When they see it, see, they got to see it, Right? When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. See? They're they looking for green aliens. They're looking for an Edomite to come out of the sky. They're looking for meteors to just destroy the whole earth. Right? So, so far beyond all that they're looking for, man. Okay.
Okay, so it's gonna be strange to these people. The truth is gonna be strange to them. This is one, Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Who is that? Yahweh Shai. He's showing up with the clouds of heaven, the chariots of Yahweh, who had, also has angels in those chariots, those clouds. Cloud by day, fire by night. That's what led us out of Egypt. It's written in history of these chariots and in the scriptures. All right. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. See? Everybody's going to see the chariots when they show up. It's not going to be a question. But they said they're going to be troubled with terrible fear when they see him. So far beyond all that they look for. All right? So I said every eye shall see him. And it said they, they shall wail because of him. See, some people are going to be crying for good because we're going to be happy to see him. But some are going to be crying because they're going to be scared as hell. Like, oh, shit. All right, this is Revelation 19 and 11. I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. That white horse represents the giant chariot that Yahweh Shai rides upon. Uh, spoken of in 2 Ezra chapter 13. A huge giant chariot, dazzling chariot, powerful chariot. And he that sat upon him, so he's sitting upon this chariot, was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doeth judge and make war. This is Yahweh shot. So he's going to judge in righteousness, and he's going to make war against these nations. It's going to put fear in them, any of these people. His eyes were as a flame of fire, so he's going to have straight judgment on his mind. And the eyes are the windows to the soul. All right. On his head were cro many crowns. I mean, he's going to take down all these nations at once when he destroys America. All right. How is Shai going to destroy this place? And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Now, this is talking about. Uh, you see it says faithful and true and it, uh, um, it goes by the, the word of God but there's a name that we also don't have an experience of him being glorified All right, and the only one that's going to know his name are going to be the witnesses that are left which is the elect so that's that's talking about the elect right there alright and knowing him as being glorified, experiencing his glorified form. So he the only one, and he, he prayed to the Father that we can be where he is to experience him in that way, to see his glory. All right? So no, only, we only seen Yahweh Shai on the earth, a uh, little Lord and the angels. All right? So verse 13, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. The scriptures say he's going to stain all his raiment. I mean, he's going to go crazy out here. All right, straight judgment. And his name is called the word of Yahweh. See, that's not his literal name, but it's another title that he goes by. He's the word of the Lord. That's the point. And the armies which were in heaven, so there's armies out there. And they were in heaven, but they're going to be heading towards the third dimension. From the fourth dimension. The armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses. They're gonna be on, they're gonna be in chariots. All right, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. You know, so the angels look fly, man. The scriptures say in the first Maccabees uh, that they flying around with all white on and gold girdles with lances in their hands and crowns upon their head. You know? This is Ezekiel 1 and 4. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Okay? And this is, uh, who is this, Ezekiel? So this is around 5, 592 uh, B.C., before the fall of Jerusalem to, to the uh, Babylonians. It says, um, and I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself. So this is a chariot moving towards him. And he saw all, he saw the heavenly host, Yahweh, 
was showing Ezekiel the host all the host of heaven and that Yahweh was controlling that so he, he so he so he was showing Ezra I mean it's like Ezekiel that Yahweh controls the heavens and the armies in heaven so you know he should be controlling the, 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 the people upon the earth he's controlling everything so he was showing Ezekiel that and what was going to uh, be upon the earth in the last days all right how was going to send his angels so it says and out of the midst of the out of the midst thereof of the fire and out of this cloud as the color of amber all right like a deep deep brownish yellow out of the midst of the fire also out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures so creatures not talking about some damn monsters with four heads all right they didn't have four heads man they had duties and jobs and rankings just like the um just like the navy the air force the army you know so on and so on um so they had the likeness the likeness of four living creatures man they were living moving around but they're not human and this was their appearance what's their appearance they had the likeness of a man period period all right so you can say they have four faces that's talking about their duties okay but it says right here what was their appearance they had the likeness of a man now all throughout the scriptures when the angels would visit uh jake or like in the book of tobit or with joseph and mary with gabriel and tobit with raphael and ezra's with uh Araya allah which would be i mean um a warrior allah which would be uriel all right and every time he dealt with the angels when mary um saw uh the angels at the tomb or the you know the the cave where they buried Yahweh after he was gone they saw two men two young men all right so in in the book of Tobit they thought he was they thought this, this the angel Raphael was from the tribe of Naphtali okay so they look just like us so it says here they had the likeness of a man so they don't look like little green demons all right so they always trying to depict the angels as something weird uh, they, got, they have a damn pegasus or they have cupid little naked babies flying around with little bird wings and shit or they have little green men <laughs> with eggs in their bellies Second Ezra 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. So these are all imaginations that they, they, they're shooting out at everybody right now to deceive everybody, to push their agenda. All right. The, the agenda was Russia and then um, alien invasion. And in the midst of that, you, you, you better believe there's going to be a real economic crash. And then they're gonna push their digital agenda somewhere in the midst, and then World War Three, as, as that's heating up right now. All right, they say it's a threat coming from outer space. Now they can go into the domain of space and make that a um, a domain for war, as Mike Pence said when Trump was in power in office. So they've made space a domain for war ultimately going with revelations i think uh chapter 12 which is going to be war in heaven man they're going to try to fight the angels and they're going to say it's, it's, it's aliens we told you it was real <laughs> all right so but they're going to see that it's a so-called black man in the chariots yahweh every eye shall see him fear not the imaginations against thee and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, man. All right, so we're we're set against them and them against us. 
This is our battle. This, that's why scriptures say that. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but our spiritual, man, and the pulling down of strongholds. This is a stronghold that's on the minds of the people thinking it's green aliens out there. All right, so incredulity means disbelief. So don't let the disbelief of these people trouble you. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world and sword and famine and death and destruction, even upon Mexico. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, not just America, but the whole earth. Even these lies about extraterrestrials, that's polluted the whole earth as well. That we call America the mother of harlots and abominations and lies. And their hurtful works are fulfilled, man. And the word hurtful goes back into being wicked again. So that they, their, their works are being fulfilled right now. Esau's works, the mystery of iniquity. Let me get that. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 5. See, their hurtful works are being fulfilled and it's going to reach all up to the heavens. Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things. See, the Lord warns us about all this stuff. That they're going to be liars and scoffers and that leasing was at hand. Leasing goes into lying. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. See, it's all set up so the Lord can reveal who the devil is on the earth. And that devil is Esau. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. So their hurtful works are, are, are going to be fulfilled from the Greek Empire, Roman Empire, all up until now. All right. Um, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed. See, wickedness has polluted the whole earth. It started off with Esau and their lies and agendas. And the Greek Empire, the Roman Empire, all up until today. They've been pushing these agendas. And pagan left-hand side of the agendas. And, um looking into the book of the law wherein they thought to paint the likeness of their images even to this day they try to change the stories of the scriptures and now they're bringing in aliens and shit talking about some green green demons little aliens so that wickedness has, is polluting the whole earth all right whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth see we, we're set up to consume these lies with the spirit of truth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So he's consuming it, and then he's gonna destroy these lies. When he shows up, everybody gonna see him. You know? And then he gonna then they're gonna be destroyed as well. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. So Esau is an adversary to the truth. And they've been pushing up the lies, and now those lies have spilled over into Mexico. Alright? with all power and signs and lying wonders. This is another lying wonder. All right. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. So it's only going to work on the ones Esau's lies are only going to be cultivated and respected by those that are set to perish. People like this guy, my son. J Jamie Malson, whatever his name is. Because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. For and for this cause Yahweh shall send them strong delusion. This is this is a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. So they've eaten from that they've all taken a slice of the devil's pie and believed in a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. But had pleasure in our righteousness, man. They have a pleasure in this whole alien shit, man. Star Wars, you know. Star Trek. E.T. Well, this is what the Lord says about liars. 
and false doctrine is is a lie okay they're teaching lies they're teaching false doctrine they're telling people there's green aliens out there the pope even saying there's aliens out there and shit so they're the false prophet revelations 21 and 8 but the fearful and unbelieving see he said don't don't worry about don't don't let the incredulity of them trouble you the disbelief that they're going to be destroyed the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers that's what this guy is a damn sorcerer and idolaters and all liars and he's a known liar been proven to be debunked shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death that's right so the lord is making a separation a division so people that believe that they're gonna get destroyed man they're saying that um there's aliens out there and green aliens they're gonna get destroyed with that delusion revelation 22 and 14 blessed are they that do his commandments all right so this guy is, is a false prophet as well uh, my son yeah he coming out teaching lies okay he's the ufo community version version of a prophet or a sage but he's a false prophet a liar but the Lord said, blessed are they that do his commandments. That's the elect that are in his truth. That they might have right to the tree of life, to true wisdom. All right. And may enter in through the gates into the city. That We're praying that we be of the hopeful elect, the first fruits to enter into the kingdom. To enter into the gates. And that's a cut on vocab um, Christian community. Because Revelation tells you. I think it's 21 tells you that it's only 12 gates to enter into 12 tribes of Israel not a 13th gate back door and shit for without our dogs man so this dude Malsan is, is barking off like a dog and a sorcerer man that's what he is a damn sorcerer and a whoremonger and a murderer and idolaters Every, the whole list that I just read um, in the prior scripture that all of these are going to have their part in the lake of fire liars sorcerers whoremongers idolaters and who whosoever loveth and maketh the lie so this guy is one of the people that love the lie the, 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 the dude alright so he not only loves the lie but he became a maker of that lie as well pushing the, these um, lies forward that there's little green men out there. So whoever loved the lie and whoever also makes the damn lie. And we know that Esau is the father of lies. They, they're the one that created this story of green men. You know, the Africans got their own shit too, but. All right, so this is a cut on that demon talking about some uh, pushing this agenda to the Congress today. You know, I hate the way he talked to me. If you go back and watch his videos, Jamie, my son, or whatever. At the while, you can tell he bugged out, man. All right, he's seeing the chairs, but, you know, the average Jake that's in the world that see chariots get on some UFO, you know, like, um, there's a couple people on the internet like that. I forgot the dude's name. He hasn't been around, though, in a while. But he, he was pushing that whole UFO agenda. All right. Um, John 8 and 44. Ye are of your father, the devil. So they, that's his authority. Deception. You know, Esau pushed that lie. And these, these people... This Jake over in Mexico is pushing that lie as well. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. So two thirds are not abiding in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. 
for he is a liar and the father of it. So they following after Esau's ways of lying out in public, man, just lying for no damn reason. He'd been proven to be lying. Scientists came out and said it, that these alien, alien so-called figures that they got in caskets and bringing them out to the open are nothing but man-made dolls out of paper, mach- paper and glue and shit like that. Probably egg cartons. Who knows, man? And they they they, they put it together like that, so it could look like skin. If not that, um, it's most likely not this one, but other ones are dead children from ritual. Uh, head and skull manipulation in ancient times either way the shit is demented demonic and wicked as hell in confusion alright read this quick precept 2nd Ezra 13 and 29 behold the days come when the most high will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth so they're going to be astonished when they see Yahweh shot. Let's get that word astonishment real quick. All right. So he's going to come to the astonishment of all the people that dwell on the earth, especially these damn UFO alleged experts. They're going to be confounded. Their word astonishment means great surprise. It's going to scare the hell out of these people, man. This is Ephesians 5 and 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, arise from the dead. Right? People gotta wake the hell up, man. You know? And Yahweh shall give thee light. He's gonna give you the truth. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. See, in this whole UFO, alien, Star Wars, Star Trek, ET, Planet X bullshit. That's walking amongst the dead, sleeping, sleepwalking. You know, you want the truth so you have light. And the Lord should say, don't walk as fools, but be wise, man. All right. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, man. That's right, man. So, and by doing so, and knowing that the times and days are evil, these are bad times we're living in. People lying and shit, you know, to deceive and, and control people. Ephesians 6 and 10, finally, my brethren, brethren, and he said, be circumspect, right? Be strong in the Lord. So be strong, stand up strong in his truth and confident and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. See, these are more wiles of the devil. The word wiles goes into um, manufactured lies and trickery. All right, deception. That's the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, so it ain't about this idiot named Mausan, Jamie Mausan, whatever, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So that's where he got that thought from. Either that, he's pushing their agenda, the, the globalists, but he's pushing that agenda at the same time they're pushing the narrative of aliens. So he's a part of it, or he's a believer in it, you know? Or he's just a fool that's following after it. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. See, the days are evil. And we're able to stand. The scriptures say knowledge and wisdom should be the stability of that time to keep you stable. All right? And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, man. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. So, that's the focus of man to be dealing with the truth, the spirit of truth. All right. So have yourself girded and ready. 
with the spirit of truth because they they bring in the lies like a flood and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace so get your path ready and prepare your soul for temptation and prepare to teach the gospel of peace the, tr the truth man bring it bring in peace between Yahweh and the children of Israel above all taking this the shield of faith all right faith is the substance of things hope for the evidence of things not seen so the battle against the lies that are upon this earth the worldly wisdom wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked all right it's the fiery darts of their lies that they shoot at us in secret and ultimately the, the fiery darts goes into missiles so we're going to quench those as well through the, through faith all right all right matthews 24 and 24 for there shall arise false messiahs and false prophets and this guy is a false prophet man all right in in different ways he might not be teaching like religious aspect but he's teaching lies man saying that these green aliens gonna come out of the sky that's prophesying and shall show great signs and wonders see them same signs and lying wonders from that the devil was shooting off they're showing off all right so they're gonna show great signs and lying wonders and so much that if it were possible so it's not possible if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect all right so all this in the time we're in now is all about deception okay the truth versus the lies let's get there real quick this is second peter 1 and 16 for we have not followed cunningly devised fables that's what this is a cunningly devised fable put together by the jesuits and the um going back to the greeks and the romans all right and the and the druids alistair crawley right this uh american hollywood fables lies right witchcraft sorcery for we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty, right? So they ain't gonna be able to deceive the elect, right? So, all right, I'm gonna end it with this. Second Ezra 6 and 18, man. But it should be proven, man, that this shit is debunked. This guy is a liar. He's been proven to be a liar by a bunch of scientists and shit. And, um, this is it, man. Trying to push that agenda, whatever it is, at, at a moment to where um, America's pushing the same uh, lie, all right? Saying that they got UFOs and they got alien bodies and all this madness, man. Okay? Second Ezra 6 and 18. And it is, and it said, Behold, the days come, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking to. Once you understand this chapter. All right, first it was an angel, then Yahweh Shai showed up and started speaking to Ezra. And it said, the voice said to him, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh. See that? It's talking about Yahweh Shai. And to visit them that dwell upon the earth. And that's why you see all these storms and destruction happening upon the earth. And we begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness that way said their hurtful works are fulfilled so the lord is inquiring into that and beginning to make judgment upon the earth and when the affliction of zion is shall be fulfilled see their hurtful works are going to be fulfilled against us and our affliction is going to be over that's when our salvation is going to be here and esau can't do nothing about it all right and when the world that shall begin to van vanish away so it's this world and the lies is all beginning to vanish away and it shall be finished then will i show these tokens 
the books shall be opened before the firmament and they shall see all together so everybody gonna see it together man they said they're gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth and they're gonna be shocked and astonished at what they see you know but the elect are gonna see what they've been looking for as well which is righteousness in, in, in the kingdom and salvation but the wicked is going to be so far beyond all that they're looking for you know so with that I'm going to say uh, hey, Shalom and yes it's been debunked this guy Mosan is a damn liar let's get that picture up there alright so this is a lie and we don't believe in this dumbass statue <laughs> So with that, I'm going to say a shallow one.